The Fabled have with a good question. Two members of my clan have quit the game recently and several others are ready to, including the leader. The reason why is because we cannot compete without spending a lot. What are your thoughts? Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? So the Fabled, the thing that I tell everybody that, you know, whenever we get anywhere near this conversation about being competitive without spending, to me, it's about proper expectation setting. And it's it's not a fun answer to hear because there is there is no solution to be competitive. Like you just, if you are going up against a player or a guild that has chosen to spend their disposable income or whatever income on this game, you you simply cannot compete. You cannot compete. It's not like you can play more in a day. Like there's only so much resources you can earn in a day by doing your daily tasks and this and that and the other. The game is set up to get people to spend. The game is paid for by people that spend. And it's a little bit more predatory than your typical free-to-play game. Apex Legends, uh, Call of Duty, um, Warzone, and uh, Fortnite, right? All three free games. Halo, Halo was free, right? The battle, battle royale part of it. They all have a quest system. They all have kind of a resource system. Uh, they all have a, a, a shop but it's all cosmetic stuff, right? There's not many pay to win things. There are some specific nuanced things that you can buy uh, here and there in those games. They're free and the game is paid for by purchases, right? But this game's basic gameplay loop is to get you to spend and to get you to continue to spend. And if you've already spent to get you to tag along until the next big thing comes out. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day about, you know, how as a big spender, as a whale, they, they you know, they want to see more of the Guardians of Outland event because the Guardians of Outland event is like the only event where they want to spend money on. Guardians of Outland is the Skinstone event for heroes, right? And they're like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, I just keep play. I just don't spend. That was the statement. I'm going to keep playing. I'm just not going to spend aside from the uh, Guardians of Outland event. And then I'm like, well, hold on now. You're not going to spend. You're not going to spend until there's a new hero that comes out. And they're like, well, yeah, yeah, we'll get the new hero. We'll level them up. We'll try them out. Okay, cool, cool. And then, you know, this was a Facebook this was a Facebook player. So I was like, okay, so you're not going to spend until the new pet comes out once a year. And they're like, yeah, you know, you've got to get the new pet. You got to unlock the new pet. You got to level them up and all of that. Chaos particles, gems, and all of that. And then I'm like, well, you know, and then, you know, the once or twice a year that they have the event that you really want, the Guardians of Outland event, once or twice a year. And they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. So I'm like, oh, cool. So you just described to me six, six instances, six separate instances, you know, three to four heroes, or three heroes and a pet, plus the two events per year, Guardian of Outland happening twice per year, hypothetically. And you're also buying Valkyrie's Favor. You're also buying Valkyrie's Favor every month, every month. So the game is the game is designed to get you to spend money. They want you to feel good about spending money. So they give you these little dopamine increases by showing how much more powerful you are than the opponent because you've spent money, right? And if you just spend a little bit more, you'll be a little bit more powerful. The Fable, unfortunately, that is, that's the nature of the game, is if you don't set a proper expectation, then ultimately you will quit because you cannot be competitive. I should qualify competitive. We are the top guild on our server in the Bronze League, but we cannot get into silver. We also only have 22 clan members. I mean, you're talking about a couple of other issues as well, the Fabled. I mean, potentially if you had some more recruits that play day in and day out, maybe you would level up your heroes faster because you got more glyphs every day or runes to level up your glyphs every day. You know, you might have more options for attacking. You might have more options for defending. So you might be able to gain position and hold that position longer if you had a full guild. You know, you have to bring in the whole conversation about, you know, guilds that win trade. On some level, our guild, you know, uh, Dark Tower, we occasionally have an opportunity where we do a win trade on Friday with a uh, with a sister guild and people don't like that. They do not like it at all. But it happens it happens like once a month, maybe once every two months that we actually get matched up. So it's, you know, this idea that you have to spend be competitive, it's not the case in every aspect of the game, but it is in enough aspects of the game that it doesn't it doesn't really seem fair, but setting the proper expectation, it, it absolutely is fair. It absolutely is fair. Right.